Summoner's War update 717. At some point in the past year, these have started to become a meme of just filler update with a new in-app purchase at the very end. And this one is kind of no different. It's not a Guild Siege update, so if you don't really care too much about Guild Siege or Guild content, then... Well, there's really not that much in the update, but I do have some other things that I want to mention. I didn't feel it was uh, enough to do a whole video on it, but we'll talk about those at the very uh, at the very end. Anyway, 717 update details. Modify mode for Skyland has been added. This is nice. They didn't put anything new in there, so I'm not entirely sure why they added this now. Years and years after this has already been in the game, it's just, hey, you can plant trees a different way. But it's nice. It would be very nice if they actually made changes to the island where it could be like a different kind of instead of grass it could be like gray or brown or like black like uh obsidian or whatever uh, i think that would be cool then that would make more sense with the different trees like the snowy trees or the dead trees or whatever but maybe this is a step in that direction there is absolutely nothing to back up what i'm hoping for but I think it would be nice for people's islands to look a little bit more different than they... Because there's only so much you can really do. So, I wanted for quite a while to have those. I did it in, in previous videos, but I wanted for quite a while to have uh, some more options for customization of islands. Just so people get an easier idea of like, Oh, for, I, first off, it's cool. Second off, they can be like, oh, that's that one island. That's this person's island. Like, without... I mean, could you could you make pixel art, but I think there should be more custom. It's so easy. It really is so. It's so simple. From a development perspective, just changing the grass color. <laughs> Whatever. That's not what we're talking about today. Uh, there is. Oh, you can change the order of uh, your favorites in RTA. Half of you don't do RTA anyway, but uh, that's uh, that's mostly what it is for this one. There's also new indic not new indicators, but they put the indicators of whatever monster. Uh, is on here when you actually open this up. This wasn't here before, and it was just uh, down here, but now you can see it over here as well. They also did it in here, which weren't uh, weren't like this before. I suppose. I don't remember. I don't ever pay that much attention to these things. I'm all like, oh, this is where the icon was before. Now this is where it is. Because like you could see these before, but now it's like, oh, here it is here. If you told me before that this was here, I would have been like, oh, is it? I, I didn't notice. Honestly, for something like this, this is not what I'm focused on ever. I'm focused on these. So I'm not looking at this at all. But, uh, yeah, there's that. There's that. They just added some little icons. World Battle UI has improved. Uh, we do have the new Hall of Heroes for the Fire Dice Magician. Which, you know, if you're trying to sculpt some of the other Dice Magicians, those are, uh, those are the LD ones are pretty decent, I think. The Water one is, uh, sometimes he's amazing! Most of the times, he's not very amazing. Uh, this is just a different preview. Uh, I think that's in the uh, Season 11 page. Uh, World Battle, World Guild Battle UI has been improved. It's just minor things. Honestly, it's just little minor things. Quality of life, repeat battle. It's just tiny, tiny things. And then we get to the special exclusive pack. Which is a new... Because that's kind of the meme. It's, it's a filler update, and then it gets a reason for a new special pack. New special update pack you can only buy it three times. So you can only give them $210, well, US dollars. It's different for everyone, depending on uh, where they are. Bug fixes, uh, monster error, game error fixes. There is some uh, other things that I wanted to mention to you guys really quick. I hope this is the right button. Otherwise, this is going to be... Ah, there we go. So, um, during SWC in Korea... The devs did talk to a handful of people. They have information that I don't have, which I would like to have, but uh, I got some of it. Um, they, were, they were taking questions on Summoner's War going forward in 2023 and beyond, uh, and talking about some of the things that they had planned, which they don't. Re they apparently don't say too much, but uh, one of the things is they wanted to make graphical changes and updates, both graphically, obviously, and also to the mechanics, which... I don't know how, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Are we getting a new graphical overhaul? I mean, that that would kind of make sense. I, would, I mean, they did say it, but that would kind of make sense with they're changing the way the graphics look for the island. So let's see if there's a lot of graphic, because they did also change the minimum requirements for, I don't remember if it was Android or the Google Play or the, uh, the Apple Store, but yeah, uh, graphical changes and updates should be coming. That's exciting. We are going to have some artifact changes. They want to change the way multi-hit artifacts um, operate because they feel that the multi-hit damage is too much damage. That's one of the reasons that some things got nerfed, like Oki got nerfed for his uh, skill 3. 
to do less multi-hits because they felt it was doing too much damage. So there are going to be artifact changes coming over the next, uh, coming this year. And then also, another thing that I wanted to mention is we should have a balance patch soon. Hopefully, it's a very exciting one. I feel like it's not going to be very exciting, to be honest. I don't, I, I don't feel that there's much of a reason. I think that the one after this is going to be possibly exciting because I think that they're saving a lot of stuff for March between the Honkai Star Rail release that they want to compete with and the Summoner's War nine-year anniversary. So March is the time that we should see some more exciting stuff, but I at least wanted to share some little tidbits of information while we went over the 717 update notice, which is mostly filler. Oh, did I say that out loud? Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.